Hello and welcome. Now for the whole of 2020, I'm attempting a no buy slash low buy. Now this is my update for June. We're gonna talk about how much I made, how much I spent and break down the character degrees I did all my spending in and do all the finance stuff at the end of this update. I'm also gonna share with you how much I was able to save during the month. We're gonna do a little mini haul of all the new things that have come into my life. I have some gifts, a couple of hand-me-downs as well as items I have purchased myself. And we're gonna do just like the products I've used up during the month. Now. Before I jump into it, if you're kind of like confused to why I'm in a different room and especially because I just posted like my apartment tour where I shared the space that I'm usually filming in and where I usually am living, um, pretty much that is still where I am. That's the kitchen I'm using at the moment. However, the bedroom I've given to one of my friends as sort of like an in-between um, for a couple of months while she's trying to find her feet and I was able to come sleep upstairs because this room was available and we just did a bit of a shift around so that I could help her out and support her and yeah you just got to help people where you can especially the ones that you love so she's staying with me for um, yeah a couple of months and I'm up here she's down there so if you're wondering why that is that's the case let's get into the update so the first is all the products I've used up this month um, I have three lip items lip products one is a lipstick that went gross um, so I'm not using it anymore the next is a lip balm that I completely used up and like pulled the packaging apart even to get every last little bit um, and another lip balm that I had and I have a bottle that had some face oil in which I have now finished and then a random stationery item it's actually a refill from for my favorite pen so this is the old refill that has been finished um, and then that's just the packaging it came in I thought I'd show you because it's kind of like a little bit more of a low waste option in terms of working with stationery and yeah I don't know a bit random but that's the whole thing I finished up this month um, the new things that I have brought into my life so I have two gifts and I'm gonna try and sort of like fire through these things quite quickly because there's a lot to get through um, I have this which is a cookbook it's was given to me as a gift by the same person who is living downstairs at the moment. Um, yeah, she got it for me because she knew that I really wanted this specific cookbook. It's the only cookbook I, I currently own and I'm happy that I have this as a gift that she gave it to me. The next is another gift and it is from a fellow YouTuber. Now the her channel is called Small Decisions. She makes similar content in the sense that she talks about minimalism and trying to simplify her life as well as budgeting not spending money and she's specifically trying to pay off some student loans now if you want to check her channel out please go ahead she is super lovely um and give her a little love from me if you want to or just say hi you came from me i don't know i don't know how this works i've seen other people reference other youtubers this is the first time i'm doing it so like go say hi to her if you want to but also don't if you don't want to but anyway she sent me this pen because she was getting rid of it decluttering it um and she knew that i really liked it so yeah we are now quite literally pen pals <laughs> um and i have got a gift that i am going to be sending back to her so anyway that's another item they're very happy about oh and this was just like these are just like the inserts for the pen because it's a fountain pen so yeah anyway the next thing is a few hand-me-down items so on top i got three <laughs> t-shirts this is from the same person who is living with me she did a big, big declutter um and i wanted just some comfy lays around the house t-shirts so I've got those now um, and this is from another friend who did a decluttering of her kitchen and because I've kind of gotten into baking I said I would take this tray and give it a go so there we go those are the hand-me-downs now the rest of the things I'm going to show you I purchased myself the first thing I got was some more yarn if you've watched a previous update you would have seen that I purchased this blue yarn I was crocheting my dad a hat he was disappointed that I was only using the color blue and wanted me to get other colors so I got um red and yellow uh yarn which I finished this hat I'll put a picture up of it here but then I had leftovers so I'm making other projects with that but basically I bought three balls of yarn um the next thing I got was some ebooks I bought two one is how to be an anti-racist the other is the good immigrant just doing the bare minimum trying to get a bit more educated during uh this time and to continue to educate myself as time goes on um so they're in ebook form but I thought I'd share that with you as well I got some office-ish supplies so the first is binder clips I pretty much just use them to uh, 
section off my receipts for each month so that when I do my taxes it's just really simple and makes sense and keep it organized for the tax person that may or may not check off on me at some point. Um, the next thing I got was hard drives. Now this is, wasn't a necessity but I did want to make the upgrade because I could afford to and also it was like a business expense that I could work with um, and claim so I got two um, one to just back up my whole computer, one to store my important files and documents and things like that. So these were not cheap. These were very expensive. They're SSD hard drives, so they're solid state, which means they last a lot longer. They're really good quality. But yeah, we'll, we'll, you'll hear how much they cost when we get to the end of this video. Um, and another thing I got in terms of work, actually, I have to show you this first for context is I got some work boots I've just been wearing kind of like sneaker ish things but they weren't very supportive or very protective um, and because I do support work I support someone in a wheelchair not often but every now and again my toes do get crushed so I wanted to get some solid um, shoes so that wouldn't happen and yeah I don't know they're red backs they're just an Australian work boot company they're nothing fancy but I really like them and they're really comfortable so I got those and then I got some longer socks to go with them because this, all the socks that I own are like these ankle socks so I needed some of those to protect my legs when I wear my work boots. And the next thing I got was some cardigans. Now this kind of broke my no buy but I'm super happy that I found them. So they're just like quarter length cardigans. I bought three of them. I'm currently wearing one which is this same cardigan and then I got one in grey as well. Um, they were $40 each, they're 100% cotton. I really wanted ones that were natural material. I keep finding like super blended with synthetics and nylon and I just don't feel comfortable in those clothing so I bought three of them. I wear cardigans with every single thing I wear. If you know me in real life you know that to be true. Um, so yeah, it's kind of an investment because it's not often that I find cardigans that aren't synthetically blended in some way so I got those um yeah that's all the things I actually got um so let's get into the finances for this month I made a grand total of eight thousand eight hundred and nine dollars and ninety two cents I spent a lot this month um I spent five thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars and ninety cents which gives me a grand savings of three thousand and seventy nine dollars and two cents so yes I spent a lot um, let's get into it and break it all down and talk about it so in terms of gas I spent hundred and sixty one dollars and five cents so pretty comparable to the range that I usually work within um, groceries I spent hundred and ninety four dollars and twenty two cents once again about the same as what I usually do I kind of go for about fifty dollars a week is my grocery budget um, sometimes a bit less sometimes a bit more I spent $148.68 on eating out with friends. The restrictions of the virus have lifted a little bit now, so we can do that. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit more than maybe what I usually would spend. I'd go for more around $100, but still pretty good. Things. <laughs> so all the things that I showed you, I spent a total of $571.36. So the boots were $122, I believe. Um, my cardigans were $40 each, and there's three of them. So what's that like? Can't do very fast math. Yeah, like $120? Yeah, $120, something like that. Um, uh, like the little clips I bought were like, three dollars or something like that I don't know socks were ten dollars um and then I bought yarn this was twenty two dollars I spent about twelve thirteen dollars on the two ebooks combined and then in terms of the hard drives I bought one hard drive that was for myself um and so I that I classed it as two, so that was $279. Now, what I will explain to you in a moment will make a bit of sense, but we'll get there in a second. So that was kind of all the things added up. So that's why it costs so much. Like, yeah, this one hard drive was like 200, nearly 200 or $280. So that wasn't cheap. Um, and then, yeah, the cardigans plus the blue boots, it kind of all adds up quite quickly when you get a few items. Now, in terms of my cat, I spent $15 and 98 cents on her now I did I bought a few gifts this month so when I was talking about the hard drives basically I bought 
a hard drive and I was going to originally give it to a friend but then I decided to keep it because it's a really good one and it's also really expensive and I gave her my old one so I kind of considered it like a gift but I don't really know what else to call it. So basically I spent $268 on gifts. Now, a hundred and something dollars was the hard drive. I then also just bought her a hundred dollar thing that she needed for a laptop as well. So this is for like someone who's basically my little sister. I gave her a thousand dollars a few months ago to buy an amp for her music. And then I just wanted to get her a few extra items that she needed that I could afford to get her. So I spent $268 on her. I then spent like $30 on tea for small decisions, which is coming your way. I haven't sent it yet but I promise it's coming soon um, and then I also made a donation this month of $500 to a charity here in Australia called ID Know Yourself. It supports Indigenous young people in out of home care. They do some really great work and I listened to a podcast with the CEO of that company um, and I really just liked his way of talking and just hearing about his story so it just m made me want to I guess make that donation or make that contribution um so you can I'll put that charity maybe in the description of this box as well if you're Australian or even if you're not you can check them out um so for gifts I spent a total of seven hundred and ninety seven dollars and 90 cents um so yeah sorry if, I hope that hard drive thing makes sense if not yeah, don't worry about it, it's not that important. Um, in terms of bills this month, this is where a big chunk of my money went. Obviously I spent a lot on things and a lot on gifts, but bills. I spent $3,695 and you're probably like, wait, what? <laughs> How did you spend that much? So pretty much the apartment that I shared in the apartment tour and I've said this in previous updates, I wasn't paying rent, you know, I was able to live there for free. This is the childhood home I grew up. This is my mum's home she owns. So I wasn't having to pay any rent. However, I kind of thought about it and I realised that I'm making loads of money and it's also just, I think it's just a good thing, I guess, to create a bit more of an adult relationship to that instead of just like freeloading off my mum. So I decided to back pay her from the time I moved in. So I moved in in October. I only am paying $100 a week. That's kind of what we thought would be like a nut, like, a, like a small contribution so I'm not paying full rent prices um so yeah that's I paid her 3,600 in back pay for the last however months I've been living there which you know you know how much I've been making I've been sharing that on each update it's really absolutely nothing considering how much I bring in each month but yeah I just decided to do that and then so that was like yeah 3,600 then 70 dollars for internet and 25 for my phone I then got a haircut this month <laughs> whether or not you can tell that it's shorter than it has been in the past. Uh, I spent $60 on the haircut and then I gave my hairdresser $10 because he was just really nice and I don't know I like tipping service people because I've been a service person I've been a waitress I know it's like not an easy job those kind of things dealing with human beings so anyway um, and then another random miscellaneous thing was I spent $37 on postage to send something to Ireland for my mum so it was $106.85 in a miscellaneous category. And then I spent $39.85 on eating out food, but with a client. So I did two sleepover shifts last month where, uh, you know, I stay the night, we go to a hotel or something, and then the next morning or like for dinner and lunch, I buy my own food. Um, so yeah, that was all of my money, <laughs> everything that I spent. So... I hope you enjoyed this update. Um, if you want to share with me how you're going, if you're doing any kind of challenge, no buy, low buy, just saving in general, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.